reality in our history right here in Ghana. And I need you to come along and open your ears and listen with rapt attention. This is the African history class. And I need you to be around so that we do this together. In the interim, I see so many people right here in the African history class. And I want to say thank you so much to all you wonderful kings and queens in the class. Now, I see you. And I want to say thank you so much for joining us, Elon Bini. I appreciate you for joining us. Many more people right here in the African history class. Daniel Kwame J is all the way from the scrap city of Ghana. Thank you so much. Abu Sokai, Massive and Crew. Emperor Kwame Anani, thank you so much for joining us. Nat Ebu I see you too. Thank you so much for joining us we appreciate you and we love you mm, 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 mm. now everybody K is our photo archivist right in the african history class we love you and we appreciate you this is the african history class what else can i do what else can i say but to just say thank you so much we appreciate you and we love you oh gosh yo crazy i see you right in the african history class and i want to say thank you so much for joining us many more people testament gh is here in class we love you and we appreciate you I see you two smiling at me. I know what you want and I want to give it to you straight away. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh my God, have mercy. Former First Lady of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Kwadedu Ajimai Rollins. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you, former president of the Republic of Ghana, uh, John Ajekunkufu. Thank you so much for joining us. Start innovation. We love you all and we appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining us. I love you. I appreciate you. Many more people right here in the class. Hey, Buhari, the AC specialist, I see you. Yuria, I see you too. Thank you so much, Yuria, for joining us all the way from La. Sami Banflex is also in class. Osaji Fuji H, I see you too. Ras Otu Fonana Tutu Falu Tu Jaja I. Tutu Bigo from. This is the African history class, and I'm most excited to be with you. Now, tomorrow would actually be the last day I'm going to be on radio. Then I will take a short leave and then return. I rather my sister towards the end of the month. Tomorrow would be the last day I will be on radio. So tomorrow Friday is going to be a big show. Right after that, I take a very short leave. And then I return towards the end of the month. My brother, my sister, that is what it is. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Tomorrow, yes, is the day. Yes, so spread the word. I'm going on a very short leave after tomorrow. Yeah, man, to rest body, mind, and soul, and also to meditate and come in stronger. And in my absence, my brother, my sister, um, you certainly are going to have a very interesting time. Black Kobe uh, is going to be taking over from me, my brother, my sister, my producer, um, Lord Asori Batanda would be here. Uh, Amaka would also be here briefly. And then she would also go on a leave. <laughs> we planned it together. Yes, it's a secret move, my brother. Mm. <laughs> All right, so tomorrow will be the last day I will be on radio right here. I'm going to be going on a short leave to rest body, mind, and soul. You know Black Rasta don't have no leave and all them things there. When it's most important that we take the leave. And then we bounce back stronger and better. Uh, in my absence, Black Kobe. The Gong Gong Beta, the village Gong Gong Beta would be in the house and he would take over from me. In the interim, it's love, 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 love. Yeah. This is the African history class. Many more people right there in the class. And I want to say thank you so much. I do appreciate you. Dana Kweme J, thank you so much for joining us. Many more people. Now, if your name has not been mentioned, please feel no way. We'll certainly mention your name before the end of the class. I am most excited to be with you. The class today is going to last only six minutes. Only six minutes. And today we're talking about John Bilson. How many of us remember John Bilson? Show by hands if you remember John Bilson. Do you remember there was a time 
A man went to the courts of Ghana and sued Jerry John Rawlings, saying that Jerry John Rawlings was not a Ghanaian. He challenged the citizenship. My brother, my sister, of Jerry John Rawlings. Even at a point, people attacked him. In fact, in the premises of the courts, people were angry with him. There were some who also supported him. My brother, my sister, today we're talking about John Bilson. And his life is about to mesmerize you. Today, my brother, my sister, I have the single opportunity to talk about a man who many Ghanaians may not remember. Today, I have the opportunity to talk about a Ghanaian. And I am most excited. John Bilson, my brother, my sister, was a Ghanaian doctor and a politician. He was a Ghanaian doctor and a politician. John Bilson was at the helm of affairs in Ghana's political history for two very important things. Number one, he formed a political party that went into an alliance. He failed two times, my brother, my sister, to grab anything significant in the political space of this country. He tried to sue Jerry John Rawlings, my brother, my sister, saying that the man was not Ghanaian. Today, this is the man we're talking about. And in four minutes, it will be over. In May 1969, our hero for today, John Bilson, founded the All People's Congress which despite some support from the Legon Observer, failed to make any impact in the 1969 parliamentary election. He contested again in 1979 in the presidential elections as leader of the Third Force Party. But this one to hit the rocks when he came six out of ten contestants, my brother, my sister. And he made only 2.8% of the votes in 1979. In 1981, John Bilson came back again with the Third Force Party. But this time round, Jerry John Rawlings in a coup d'etat, removing Hila Liman from power, banned all political parties in Ghana. And therefore, his political party was unable to contest any election or even become one that was in the focus. In 1992, John Bilson launched a lawsuit challenging the eligibility of Rawlings to stand for the presidency on the grounds that he was not a Ghanaian national. According to John Bilson, Rawlings was a British citizen. It was captured by the independent newspaper. And I'm going to read excerpts of this to you. It says, Rawlings sued over nationality. Ghana's head of state, Jerry John Rawlings, is being sued by a former politician who claims the president is not a Ghanaian national and is ineligible to stand in the, the forthcoming elections, a high court source said yesterday. Now the suit has been filed by John Bilson, who led the extra parliamentary third force party, and the ex-president Hila Liman. The interim national electoral, electoral commission is the second defendant in the suit which claims that Mr. Rawlings 
who has a Ghanaian mother and a Scottish father, is not Ghanaian. This was what the independent newspaper carried. What became of this issue? The court threw it out and said that Rollins was Ghanaian. One, he was born in Ghana. Number two, he had a Ghanaian mother and that was enough to qualify him as a Ghanaian. He had no allegiance with his Scottish father. He did not even know his Scottish father. And he did not have any documents from Scotland to say that he actually was Scottish. And therefore, he was a qualified Ghanaian. Many Ghanaians got angry with the suit. They felt that this suit was nothing but hogwash and attacked John Bilson. He went into oblivion after this suit. Not many people heard about John Bilson anymore. Today, we just decided that you should know that there was a time in history when Jerry John Rawlings was sued. There was a time in history, my brother, my sister, when Jerry John Rawlings, a former leader of this nation, sued. And the suit was all about his nationality. Today, my brother, my sister, John Bilson may not be here with us, but he became the very first person in history, at least the history of this country, to go to court and contest Rollins. In fact, contest his citizenship, even though he lost the case. History clarified it and made it a point to refer to when it came to Rawlings' citizenship. Today we remember you, John Bilson. We remember you. Today you are not here with us. Today, Kaiu. Yes, you tested the courts. You tested the courts. He lived in Kumasi. And he did all his work in Kumasi. He was a bold man. In the days, people were so scared of Rollins. But he went ahead, my brother, my sister, contesting the nationality of the most popular person in Ghana at the time. In the burden of knowledge, I ask you, now that you know the story of John Bilson, what would you do? Be an enio leye. Mini obafe. Zunda kagane. Meza kayini. Ye empa bango. Ukaye nang. Ifi ya ye nya. No kai na wo. Bana ye wo. Ebe den. Lele ya njima singa abe kune. Tutu gwavi. Tutu gwavi. Apa mula homeo. Mama mula homeo. Kao na ima vinye. Yes, in the burden of knowledge, now that you know the story of John Bilson, what would you do? Make way for the lion. Conquer the champion, the lion is here. Hey. Zobo, zobo. Hey. 